Hey guys, today I've got a list of the top 10 camera accessories that I can't live without. These things are cheap and they save me on shoot on a daily basis. Let's get into it. So first up on the list, is this thing, it's an air blower. And these things are great for getting dust off the camera, off the lens. When you're changing lens, I always keep this, give the lens a bit of a squeeze quickly before you put it on the camera and also the front of the lens as well. Not only that, but on the few occasions that I've actually got a speck of dirt on the sensor, this thing has been great for cleaning that off. If you haven't got one of these already, get one, because they're amazing. So next up is step up and step down rings and these things are great. The front of most lenses have a thread on and these let you attach bigger filters and smaller filters onto the lenses you already own. Let's say you've got a camera with a 72mm thread on the end and you've got a 78mm filter. Step up or a step down ring is going to make that usable on your 72mm thread. Really good option, saves you having to buy multiple different filters with different sizes. Just get some step up and step down rings and you can use those filters that you already own on the lenses that they wouldn't usually be compatible with. Next up is a card reader case, fairly self-explanatory. This is the only one I've ever bought, never needed to buy a new one, kind of priceless again. This one holds a couple of different card options, SD card and compact flash. Bought this years ago, it's doing me well today, water resistant and if you drop it, it's going to protect your cards. Next up, we've got Magic Arm. Magic Arms are great for so many different things. It might be for a monitor, it might be for a wireless system, it could be for sound or something like that. A small Magic Arm in your camera bag is just gonna save you on those occasions that you need to rig up something. I've gone through a few different Magic Arms in my time. The small rig ones are pretty good, pretty heavy duty. This is the smaller one that I've got right here. Really good value for money. If you haven't got a Magic Arm, get yourself a Magic Arm. Next up, we've got an ND grad filter. Now I've got a few different versions of these. They come in various price options. You can get budget ones, the one I've listed, which is the Amazon basic one, and you can get ones that go all the way up to hundreds of pounds. I always tend to go for the cheaper option. And then if I'm on a bigger shoot, I'll just rent in a matte box with some filters. If I'm just going out solo shooting, I'll just put an ND grad on the front of the lens. And that's where those step up and step down rings come in because I can use that same ND filter on multiple lenses. So these things, if you haven't got one, are really good for just letting you reduce the light that's coming into the camera without changing your settings. And it's really nice that you can just turn the filter and it gets more intense or less intense. So ND grad filters, great option. If you haven't got one yet, look into them because they're fantastic. Next thing on the list is a mini reflector. Now this thing is pretty small, fit in your camera bag no problem, and it folds out to be pretty large, white on one side for softer reflection, gold on the other. Not only that, but if you unzip it, you also get some diffusion. And this thing is probably how I use it the most. I quite often just use this to shine light through just to diffuse it a little bit more. Really easy to work with and folds up pretty small. So if you haven't got a reflector or anything like that, you know, they're very cheap and you just put them in your camera bag and forget about them. There's going to be a time on shoot that you're outside and you either wish you could bounce some light back or you wish you could diffuse the light coming in. And that mini reflector slash diffusion, it's really going to save the day at some point. So really good thing to have um, if you haven't got one already. Next up, we've got a camera tool. Now, this is the one I have because I already own one. The one that I've listed is a specific camera tool that comes from Small Rig, and it looks like it's got all the different things you need for tightening tripod plates and adjusting your rig as well. It's got Allen keys on there, which are really useful. Next up, we've got cable ties. Now, these things are gonna save you in so many situations. I use cable ties on my rigs. Cables that are, I keep in a pretty similar position all the time, I'll just cable tie up and leave. Now, I try to get reusable ones because there are times when you're gonna be changing your rigs around and you wanna move your cables from here to there. You know, pretty cheap Velcro cable ties are really gonna come in handy for you on shoot. They're gonna save you from time to time. Now next up, it's a portable power bank. I might use it to power my external sound recorder or even if the camera's just kind of running low on battery and I haven't got any replacements. Most things these days you can run off USB. You could get yourself a higher wattage one if you're gonna be powering lights and such. It's always useful just to have a little power bank on set. Top up your light, top up your camera, top up your sound device if you need it. It's just a good backup to have. And also for charging devices, you know, there's gonna be times on shoot you've been using your phone or your iPad for something or whatever and it does help if you've just got a power solution if you need it. 
Next up and the final thing on the list is coiled HDMI cable. The reason I say coiled and not just a standard one is because a coiled works on both. Solutions where you need a shorter HDMI cable can also work in those situations that you might need slightly longer HDMI cable. I usually have HDMI cables that are the right length for what I'm using them for, but I basically always take my coiled HDMI cable out with me just in case I'm in a situation someone's got something that needs plugging in or I just need to run my monitor a bit longer really has saved me in many different situations and now you can get these really cooled fabric coiled HDMI cables which look a bit more heavy duty than the rubber one that I've got so if I was buying one again I'd probably go for one of those. So that pretty much wraps it up. That's like a list of the kit that I just keep around, keep in my camera bag. And honestly, some of the things on this list have really saved me in those sticky situations. Let me know if you've got any kit like that that you always take out in your camera kit whenever you go. Things that save you, you know, maybe you can give me some ideas. <laughs> let me know if there's anything on this list that you didn't think of, or let me know the things that you're gonna put into your camera kit. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.